Hi, and welcome to Discover Oklahoma. I'm Lauren Nelson. And I'm Dean O'Lally. Today we're coming to you from the Sam Noble Oklahoma Museum of Natural History in Norman. Specifically, we're checking out the beautiful Beast exhibit. This temporary display focuses on the unseen life of Oklahoma spiders and insects. It's incredibly interesting and will be on display through January 2022. We'll take a look around throughout the show. But first, we're going to take a trip to the newest crown jewel in the Oklahoma State Park system. You know, I grew up going to this place and I'm so glad to see it renovated and restored back to its natural beauty. Right now, we're gonna take a look at the lodge at Quartz Mountain State Park. Are you ready? One, two, three. Quartz Mountain State Park Lodge is open and ready for business after undergoing beautiful and important renovations. We're reopening uh, one of the gyms in the state of Oklahoma, Quartz Mountain Lodge. Uh, we've invested over $10 million uh, in southwest Oklahoma in this state park. Uh, our biggest lodge that we have inside the state of Oklahoma. Uh, and, and so this is such an economic driver for southwest Oklahoma has been crazy in a, in a positive way. You know, the people that used to come out here a long time ago have been slowly been making their way back around to kind of check out all the uh, hustle and bustle of the noise making it around. And uh, they're just blown away by the amount of changes that this facility has went under. And uh, they're excited to get in here and start staying here. When you arrive at the lodge, you'll check in at the beautiful lobby where there are some new aesthetic touches and also some familiar pieces too. Everything that you see here has been touched top to bottom. Uh, we tried to salvage a lot of what was existing here, like all the beautiful uh, you know, woodwork and stuff you see. We took these pictures off the walls and we sent them off to get refurbished and cleaned up and then slowly getting them back in. The renovations don't stop at the entrance. Every room has been updated with beautiful modern finishes, making it a truly wonderful, high quality stay. So we have 106 rooms in total, standard rooms 96 and 12 suites. Standard room, you have your options of a double queen or a king room. A king room also has a pull-out bed in there as well that you can take advantage of. We didn't completely gut out every one of those because they were still in good shape. We just did a lot of facelifting and you know, retexturing, painting, electrical, uh, shower fixtures and everything like that. If you're wanting some extra space, there are 12 suites that are outfitted with kitchens and living areas. The suites, you know, have walk-in showers, uh, new bedding. Uh, new paint. We added some uh, good woodworking in there as well to kind of give a little bit of a visual appearance in there. Barn doors, you know, take up less space, kind of give a more appealing touch in there. The junior suites to start out with is a king, but it also as well has a pull-out couch as well you can sleep on, so up to four in there. Then you got your suites that have two rooms basically combined into one, where one room's a king and one room's a double queen. And then also the living room portion will also have a pull-out bed as well. And many of the rooms have a view of Lake Luger, so you can enjoy the beautiful view while in the comfort of your renovated room. Indoors and outdoors, there are lots of comfortable places to sit back and relax and new features to make your stay even more memorable. We have a cowboy cauldron out there that has been crazy uh, as far as for people being used for cooking and everything. Quartz Mountain Lodge can accommodate your large group events as well. We have a, a sales team that is an amazing uh, crew that we have here. and. Uh, their job is to help make group reservations a lot easier. Uh, we have ballrooms, we have pavilions that can house them. Our ballroom can seat anywhere from 60 to, I think, 160 people. Our pavilions can seat up to about 100 per pavilion. We have five pavilions. Uh, they also have the option to re even rent out the courtyard for special events too. Head to Southwest Oklahoma and enjoy the beauty of Quartz Mountain State Park Lodge. The landscapes outside and the renovations inside will provide an unforgettable trip. We're trying our hardest to set a new standard uh, within the state of Oklahoma for people, you know, because some people aren't able to get out of the state, but they shouldn't have to feel like they have to get out of the state to get a good experience. Plan your trip to Quartz Mountain or any of our great parks on the State Parks app, available for download on iPhone and Android, or head to the website travelok.com and click on State Parks. Now from one beautiful location to another, this place in Ponca City is a sight to see and it's also recently renovated. We're gonna to go to the Marlin Grand Home in Ponca City, and we're actually gonna be looking for something very specific. The compelling and captivating story of E.W. Marlin at Marlin's Grand Home is a multifaceted destination. They will see artifacts and things that are reminiscent of the Marlin family, um, also uh, Native American, American Indian items uh, from the Great Plains tribes, also some Southwest and Northwest uh, tribal items that were collected by a man who worked for Marland. 
You can see a collection of photos and various kinds of memorabilia from the famous 101 Ranch, which was just about six miles from this home. Marlin's ancestry was British, and he learned much from his British ancestors, one of the most important elements being taking care of one's employees. So Marlin wanted to provide them with some healthy pastime pursuits. So he brought in fox hunting and polo. This large painting in the home Marlin had commissioned reflects his love of fox hunting. So the horses had to be brought in, the foxes had to be imported from Pennsylvania. Uh, of course, all of the other equipment was had to be purchased and brought in. And um, all of a sudden, they, they created this you know, fox hunting culture in Ponca Cities. And today, red foxes can still be seen around town, descendants, if you will, from the ones who were never caught back in the day. So, so that's our official, unofficial mascot of Ponca City is the fox, the red fox. Now, Ponca City has a fox hunt, per se, around the city itself. You go to designated sites where they will find a picture of a fox, a statue, or perhaps even a real fox. And the Marlin Grand Home is the last location on the city tour. And our fox that needs to be found is the, the bronze statue of the fox that's out close to our parking lot. So if they completed the whole list, then we have little fox lapel pins that we give them as a prize for accomplishing their outdoor fox hunt. But as they say, wait, there's more. We created one internally as well, mainly for, for students and children, but also adults can participate if they want. And so we have a booklet that is our fox hunting booklet for the indoor fox hunt, and, and you take that through, and it has a picture of each room, and then a little icon that matches you know, with the fox, that matches the fox that they're gonna find. And that shows our visitors the general area where wit is hiding. I always tell them they have to look behind, beside, underneath, and on top. You don't have to touch anything to find wit, because in a museum you don't touch, you just use your eyes and your brain. The staff is always working on the house, and one recent addition is they added an herbal garden. And we thought, well, wouldn't it be neat to, you know, put in some herbs that were typically used in cooking in the 1920s? And so we planted those back in the back, and that little patch ties in with our uh, baking display that's in our kitchen. And outside, one can enjoy the recently renovated terrace, which is reminiscent of the Great Gatsby era in the 20s. Come to the Marlin home to enjoy a true Oklahoma national and international experience. We just want our visitors to feel like they can almost in a way escape from the world and, you know, kind of forget their cares and just imagine what life was like in the 1920s. The Marland Grand Home is located at 1000 East Grand Avenue in Ponca City. It's open Tuesday through Saturday, 10 a.m. to 5 p.m., but heads up, they close for lunch from 12 to 1. Coming up on Discover Oklahoma. Fencing is a great sport um, from kids, you know, as young as 10 and then as old and kids at heart as old as 90. The ancient sport that's sparking new interest in Oklahoma. You get to reuse stuff. That's a positive spin these days. Plus, the custom shop where what you will get is living its second life. We've got oysters that are live and mussels, scallops, clams. And fresh seafood in a landlocked state. We'll show you where to get it coming up right here on Discover Oklahoma. Imagine limitless possibilities with the Oklahoma Travel Guide. Imagine world-class wonderlands, road trips that inspire. Imagine date night elevated. Order your free guide at travelok.com. Imagine that. Welcome back to Discover Oklahoma, coming to you from the beautiful beast exhibit at the Sam Noble Oklahoma Museum of Natural History in Norman. You know, I always enjoy coming here because there's so much to learn and to see, especially with this exhibit and others as well. That's right, but if you want what you discover to take an active route, we've got an idea for you. You can take a step back in time and try your hand at fencing. Right now, Augustus Cook shows us where we can take it all in. Well, I know Dino Lolly may be our resident movie guy, and he's got a lot of criteria that he judges movies on. You know what I like? A good old-fashioned sword fight. I love movies like The Pirates of the Caribbean. Oh, <laughs> so I figured, what better place to get a taste for real swashbuckling and fencing than the Oklahoma City Fencers Club? The Oklahoma City Fencers Club in South Edmond is a great place to start if you're interested in learning more about one of the original Olympic sports or if you just want a cool, active new hobby. Three-time Olympian Seth Kelsey works as a competitive advisor for the club and he actually gave us a little bit of information about the sport. Fencing is a great sport um, from kids, you know, as young as 10 and then as old and kids at heart as old as 90. Um, people pretty consistently fence throughout their entire lives and you can maintain your level of 
you know, as you get older, you get, you get craftier. <laughs> Maybe not as fast, but you get a little smarter. At its finest, fencing is fast-paced and engaging, and it really requires you to think on your feet. So it's no wonder it's been around so long. I think fencing is old as Cain and Abel, because if you've had a brother or sister, you've tried to hit them with a stick. Uh, they found etchings in the pyramids with sport fencing on them. So it's at least as old as the ancient Egyptians. And thanks to clubs like this, it is more accessible than ever, since you can basically just walk in the door and get started. We have our beginner classes on Wednesday nights, and just show up you know, 20 minutes before class starts, and we'll get all the paperwork sorted out and get, and get you started. But then as you progress and start moving the competitive ladder, there's additional classes for that. Good tip up. Elbow in a little bit. Wrist out. Well, as I said, I am a sucker for a good sword fight, so I was eager to learn the ropes and get started. They walked me through the basics from footwork to point control, and after I started to feel more comfortable with all that, I got to suit up for real and get fencing. Yeah, uh, you suit each other by just raising your weapon. It's like, hey, get ready to kill you. Yeah. Okay. Please don't hurt me. I learned pretty quickly that there is a lot of depth to this sport, and you really have to be on top of your mental game to succeed. Nobody gets really hurt at the end of the day, and there's a lot of strategy, also a lot of empathy involved. You wouldn't think fencing would be a realm for an empath, but you really have to feel what your opponent thinks. What do they fear? What do they expect? And based off the readings from my heart rate monitor, this is a good cardio workout and a sport with great people of all ages and ability levels. I just love fencing, I love the sword, and I love the people who fence it. Wow, that was incredible, that was so much fun. You know, I'm a complete newcomer, I had no idea what I was doing, but after a couple short lessons, I really felt like I was able to get out there and make something happen, even if he was taking it a little easy on me. But uh, that doesn't matter. What really matters is this sport is incredible. It's accessible to anyone, any gender, any age, and I have to recommend that you get out and you try it for yourself. For Discover, actually, actually wait. I heard that one of our co-hosts, Dino Lolly, used to be a bit of a fencer himself. So Dino, I'm challenging you to a duel. Loser buys dinner. Now really for Discover Oklahoma, I'm Augustus Cook. Young Augustus Cook, you are on. Ow, ow, I've got to okay cramp. There, I've got to do some training. Can you go ahead and take the outro to the <laughs> I story? I got it. Ow. The Oklahoma City Fencers Club is located on Northwest 144th Circle in Edmond. Check out their website, City of Thunder Fencing, for more details. Fencing is certainly something a little different, and so is our next story. This next story actually took me to Marlow. There's a gentleman there who is making incredible and unique woodworks for your home. Right now, come along with me to Budrow's Wood Shop in Marlow. Grady truly has a gift for creating beautiful tables, cutting boards, gifts, and more. His talent is innate, hands that measure exactly, hands skilled over years at creative repetition and the tiniest detail, skilled in using the tools of the trade, taking pieces of wood and creating something unique. He is an artist whose work is on fire. The craftsman side will take me so far. Um, I can put together wood correctly and not make it look sloppy to where the uh, artist part comes in is the details of it, the things that I see that it might need to look like. I get a lot of people trusting me with that and that's scary too. They're like, just do what you do, I'll love it. His customers confirmed that. He made a 14-foot conference table for Rob Cosby and his company, Ten Arrows Roofing. Every piece he does is absolutely unique. No conference table in the world is like my conference table, and I like that. I like the fact that it's Oklahoma. And for Kristen Glover, she asked Grady to make an island top. She loved his work so much, she asked him to make three other items for her house. We started with the island top, and it was just beautiful. It was far beyond. I mean, he, he takes you through, and he describes exactly what he's making for you. Grady even has some famous clients. After making some cutting boards and sending them to Phil Robertson from Duck Dynasty, he ended up making something else. I made them a table for their podcast. Now, as part of his work, Grady uses reclaimed wood. You get to reuse stuff. Um, that's a positive spin these days. I don't use a whole lot of new stuff on tables and stuff like that. It's about, they're about 98% reclaimed as far as like 
you know, the material. And he hears about that from customers too. The consistent thing I hear is that's beautiful. I didn't know something reclaimed could turn into something that pretty, that beautiful. There's a lot of work that goes into something reclaimed uh, to get it back to a usable state. So there's a lot of labor, sweat and blood and all kinds of stuff. Grady also has some pretty nice company in his shop. This is Millie, his shop helper and buddy, and she goes everywhere with them, and she has a love for lasers. You ready for a laser? But when it comes to Grady's work and a customer calls, it's an easy first step in the process. Estimates are free. Quotes are free. Get ready to see something remarkable because everything's a piece of art. It's not furniture, it's actually art. You want to call Grady because his quality of work, it's, it's heavy, it's, it's made with love, and it's, he's taken time, and he's a craftsman. He's an artist. You'll find Budrow's Woodshop at 103 East Kiowa in Marlow. Contact them for an appointment. Just head to their website, budrowswoodshop.com. Coming up on Discover Oklahoma. It's no good. The ciabatta is our favorite. Makes a really good grilled cheese. Fresh baked bread to complement fresh seafood. Where to find it coming up. And it is literally to where it just melts in your mouth. Plus, mouth-watering barbecue, the hot spot you'll just have to try a little bit later right here on Discover Oklahoma. Why order a free Oklahoma outdoor guide? Uncover unique wonders. Cultivate your curiosity. And wake up your wild side. Order or download your free copy today. Welcome back to Discover Oklahoma. We're spending some time at the Sam Noble Oklahoma Museum of Natural History in Norman, checking out the beautiful beast exhibit. Spiders and insects are really incredible to see on display like this. To see on display, yes. When it comes to something to eat, we're gonna recommend seafood instead. So right now, Jason Grubbs is gonna take us to Bodine Fish Market in Tulsa. In 1968, Bob Faulkner and Dean Carroll combined their names, creating Bodine Seafood Market, and started bringing fresh fish to Oklahoma. And they would have fresh seafood flown in daily so in the middle of a landlocked state, it was just the freshest around, best seafood in town. They still get those daily shipments in today. We do, we get two airplanes that bring fresh seafood in daily. Shrimp, crab legs, salmon, trout, and tuna, just to name a few. Just a lot of tuna, go through a lot of tuna. Bodines works directly with the fishermen who prep their catch of the day right on the docks. It immediately gets flash frozen, put on an airplane, and brought to us. Things are flown in twice a day here from all over the world, making it really fresh. But if you're looking for something even more fresh, they've got things alive in here too. You can buy a whole live lobster by the pound. We've got oysters that are live and mussels, scallops, clams, things like that. So we always tell people like, don't tie off the bag. <laughs> Those are alive. You wanna keep them alive until you're ready to eat them. We're getting some sole for dinner. Maddie Lippy's been coming into Bodine's as long as she can remember. It's a family tradition. It's however long it's been around, I'm sure we've been coming. <laughs> the Tulsa Institution. It is, it's so good. Um, everything we've had is delicious. While Maddie's been in many times before, this is the first time Kendall Bass has stopped into the market. I think it's fantastic. It's a great selection. I've got my seasoning and my fish for tonight, and I might be back tomorrow for more. <laughs> Kendall moved to Tulsa a couple of years ago and knows fresh seafood. We lived in California for 20 years, so I was used to fresh fish, so knowing this is here is a real treat in Oklahoma. Speaking of treats, on one end of the market, you'll find Bodine's Make and Bake Case. It's filled with all sorts of pre-made things. The smoked salmon pate is a regular in my fridge. So that's where you're going to find tomato and mozzarella salad. That mozzarella was probably made this morning. You're going to find shrimp and lobster bisque, clam chowder, also made this morning. Our guys start coming in at 5 a.m. Fresh cocktail sauce, cucumber dill sauce, tartar sauce. Not only is Bodine's making all of that fresh in the morning, they're also baking several varieties of bread. Yeah. It's so good. The ciabatta is our favorite. It makes a really good grilled cheese. The seafood isn't the only thing flown in from around the world, so are some of the goods stocking the shelves. Everything from specialty sauces, pastas, and sodas. 
We've got stuff from Japan, China, different parts of uh, South America, as well as a lot of Cajun items. While Bob and Dean have since passed, Bodine's is still very much an Oklahoma family-run business. Some people think that Bodine is a conglomerate or corporate. It is completely independently locally owned. And ready to serve many generations to come. Pop in the store or call ahead for curbside service. In Tulsa, I'm Jason Grubbs for Discover Oklahoma. Bodine Fish Market is located at 3376 East 51st Street in Tulsa. They're open 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. The restaurant next door is open for dinner only. Up next on Discover Oklahoma. Sample yeah, the goods and you'll understand. We are taste testing the barbecue they say is worth the drive when Discover Oklahoma continues. There are some things you just can't contain. Oklahoma Today Magazine is bursting with culture. Mind-blowing restaurants, trips, adventures, and so much more. Open your copy, then hit the open road. Unleash your curiosity. Set your spirit free. Subscribe today for only $14.95. Oklahoma Today Magazine. Break through the ordinary. We've really seen some incredible displays here at the Beautiful Beast exhibit at the Sam Noble Oklahoma Museum of Natural History in Norman. And by doing that, I think everyone on the crew's worked up an appetite. So how about some barbecue to remedy the situation? Sounds good to me. All right, Deanne Stein is going to take us to Hanging 8 Barbecue to fill up. Hi. 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 Just off of Main Street in downtown Eufaula, the guests fill the dining room each day here at Hanging 8 Barbecue. Oh, wow. Oh. They come for the smoking menu. Uh, the meat, the food, is, it's just really good. <laughs> but if you haven't met Luana Mathis yet, you're in for a special treat. We have fallen in love with her, which is the main reason probably we keep coming back. The food is great, but she's absolutely extraordinary. Well, she has to know everybody that comes in. I love it. I, I love the people and I enjoy cooking. And the cooking is quickly putting her restaurant on the map. Sample absolutely. the goods and you'll understand. From her smoked brisket and chicken to pulled pork and ribs, you can't go wrong. They trim it better, they do something different, and, and so every bite is good. It's not too smoked and it's not under smoked, it is just like perfect, you know, and it's real tender meat, and it's delicious. Luana says the key to good barbecue is the way it's cooked, and for her, that means smoking it with pecan wood. Smoking it slowly with the brisket and the pork especially, smoking it very, very slowly. Um, as far as the ribs, I, of course, smoke them open face first, and then I wrap them after an hour and a half, and then they end up in the smoker for five, six, seven, until they fall off the bone, because that's what everybody has strongly requested. Another big request are her burnt ends, the fatty trimmings of a smoked brisket. She cuts the meat into two inch pieces, then covers them in barbecue sauce, honey, and brown sugar. And it is literally to where it just melts in your mouth. Her sides are just as delectable and unique, like the long stem fried okra and her fried deviled eggs. The egg whites are battered and fried with our special battering. We fried that, and then the egg yolk is just the regular deviled egg, plus bacon and garlics and you know just different seasonings that we add to it also. She talked me into it and I, I was hesitant, but uh, now I get them every time. She even makes the desserts from scratch, like the Cowboy Delight, an Oreo crust topped with creamy peanut butter mix, chocolate pudding and Cool Whip, or go for the Pig Pickin' Cake, a yellow cake with pineapple and pudding topped with mandarin oranges. Hi. <laughs> How are you? Hey, Ronnie. And even when you're done eating, Luana doesn't mind if you stick around. This town is so loving and open-armed, and I love meeting people, new people. I don't meet a stranger, and they just have all become family. Discovering Oklahoma in Eufaula, I'm Deanne Stein. You will find Hanging 8 Barbecue at 313 North Front Street in Eufaula. They're closed on Sunday and Monday. Check out menu details when you visit their Facebook page. And no matter where your next road trip takes you, the Discover Oklahoma Dining Guide will help you find a great place to eat. Just log on to our website, travelok.com, and click Request Free Brochures to get your copy. A big thank you to everyone here at the Sam Noble Oklahoma Museum of Natural History in Norman for hosting us this week.
This incredible location is home to several permanent exhibits along with some that are only temporary. Beautiful Beasts, the unseen life of Oklahoma spiders and insects is on display until January 30th, so plan your visit today. And coming up next week on Discover Oklahoma, do you need to blow off a little steam safely? We'll show you where you can smash everything around you without getting in trouble for it. And head west for Mexican food that will make your mouth water. We show you where you've just got to stop. That's next week right here on Discover Oklahoma. So until next time, remember, there's always something to discover in Oklahoma.